This handmade design shop in Ipanema, one of Rio's most affluent neighborhoods, is shutting its doors in one week. Asta sold arts and crafts made mostly by poor women artisans. Rosani Rosa, one of the owners, hung a sign inside the shop to explain her clients why she's closing. Asta has been losing a lot of money in this recession. Debts reached the equivalent of $90,000. We used to say that whoever is in Ipanema is in the spotlight. Now we've been forced to lose that visibility for Brazilians and foreigners. Not being able to tell the story of 600 craftswomen, that hurts. Rosane isn't alone. Three shops located on the same street have already closed, and many others in this high-end neighborhood are struggling to survive, offering discounts and all sorts of special promotions. According to Rio's Chamber of Shop Owners, more than 2,000 businesses closed down in the first three months of this year, a trend, they say, caused by rising unemployment that is hitting sales hard. We had a 25% drop in consumption last Christmas. Today, businesses in Rio account for 70% of jobs. And with the recession we are facing, more people are losing their jobs and spending less. In mid-June, the state of Rio de Janeiro declared a state of financial emergency and will receive a loan of $850 US million from the federal government to pay for public services ahead of the Olympics. People are worried. The tendency is to get worse because it adds up. The crisis with investors' fear of creating a new initiative, a new idea in this scenario. My biggest worry is that there is no money in Rio. The government is putting money in its pockets and we have nothing. Eager to preserve the income of her craftswomen suppliers and save her business, Rosanna says she'll sell online and in other outlets until Brazil's economy improves. She doesn't expect the economy to turn around anytime soon. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.